All right, everybody, I want to hear you in the back because we have more MCU content. Yay! If you've been around this channel for any time since my She-Hulk videos, when it comes to episodic releases, they're not nearly as concise or scripted as, say, my usual videos rounding up the entire seasons or series or movies or anime. Man, that is a lot. My point is, this video is definitely more opinion-based. A little recap for sure, but definitely more of an in-and-out type of situation. And no, I'm not talking about the burgers. Go get some lunch. But I will say, even though I have a YouTube channel, most of my friends and family are pretty much on the same wavelength as the majority of common sense individuals who have noticed the blatant decline of quality in the MCU over the past couple years ready to throw in the towel as a whole after the shit fest that was Ant Daughter and the Quantum Mania Ants. But I will say this, and I'm putting myself out there for future scrutiny, I asked them to stay on for one more show, one more character that I still had faith in when it came to the character assassination that has been plaguing the MCU. Nick Fury, a character that I believe was the glue of the MCU, always keeping the other supporting or main characters in the loop with current events, to not make the timeline feel as inconclusive as it seems now. I mean, does Black Cap even know that Shang-Chi exists? Or that there was a big kaiju battle in the middle of Egypt? Or that a floating city that controlled hundreds of thousands of Black Widow assassins in every aspect of the MCU's power structure has been destroyed? Yes. <laughs> Man, it's so bad when you actually think about it. And you're starting to get my point here. Without Nick Fury, the MCU is truly nothing just an unorganized landscape of events that just happened and are forgotten in T-minus five seconds. Oop, yep, already forgot. So will Secret Invasion and Samuel Jackson's Nick Fury be able to live up to the non-existent expectations that they see from me, or will I be shot down and forced to surrender just like everyone else, with more dog shit content? But I will say this going forward, there will be spoilers in this video, so... Fuck you, fuck you fuck you, and fuck you, show. Like, what are we doing? This is Robin Shabatsky, the best character in the entirety of your show. Like, what are we doing? I didn't even take this seriously at first because I was expecting her to be a scroll, but then she wasn't. What? What the fuck? Before I get into the positives of the show, because, I don't know, I've already been seeing so much hate for the show already, and I don't really understand. Maybe I'm just the dumbass who's not in the loop, but I have seen outrage that is just perfect slander material. Fuck you, Marvel, for this trash-ass intro. This AI intro is probably the worst visual intro that I have seen in the history of my life. It is so nauseating to look at, and what a bunch of brainless farts for even thinking that this was a good idea. Like, remember these? Yeah, those were all superhero shows. Man, and one of those was from the MCU. It's so shameful. The MCU, I swear, is going to bring world peace for how dog shit it's becoming. Truly an action that can unite even the most divided of nations. But to get back to the positives, it's unfortunate because I've seen people call Nick Fury old, washed up, a sack of shit. But I don't know. Nick Fury just seems like Nick Fury to me. He's definitely still an understandable and relatable character in my eyes. To be a little distraught after the blip makes complete sense. Uh, we lost, brothers. And not saying that we lost the battle, but we can win the war. At the time, we lost. We got shit on. And it makes sense to be building to something your whole life and to watch it come into fruition on plenty of occasions just to get wiped with literally half of the universe, including yourself erased from existence because you couldn't protect the people. I don't know. It just seems understandable to be down on yourself and your accomplishments because on that one day in history, it didn't matter. Samuel Jackson's and Ben Middleton's chemistry is obviously off the charts and the highlights of the show, and Marvel is going to put a lot of weight on their shoulders to carry this show to even halfway success. But from the first episode, I mean, these guys know what they're doing. 
it's relatively obvious that they see the vision and they're going to give it to me, whether it's bad or not. So I'm sure this show will succeed in me caring about Talos and the scrolls as a whole more and more throughout the series until he eventually dies at the end for his daughter to take the reins. And speaking of his daughter, Gaia is played by Amelia Clark. And guess what? She acts. Kind of. She did the cliche thing of covering up her whole face in a scene where she was forced to cry and display some emotion. And obviously, we still struggle with that. But cover up that face, my girl. Do whatever you need to do to make it not look like shit. But in other scenes, she was relatively decent. As decent as she was in the first couple seasons of Game of Thrones. So, I don't know. I was just pretty surprised at that fact. Good for you, Amelia. The show follows the coming war of the Scrolls versus the humans, and other Scrolls, to take over planet Earth. And it kind of makes sense that this would take over 20, 30 years to pull off or so. So, I don't know. I'm not really mad at that. And I'm always down for a traditional, classy, British lass. So sign me up for whatever her name is. You guys know who I'm talking about. But other than that, that's pretty much episode one. I enjoyed it, and I'll be there for episode two. And hopefully, you guys will be here for that. Of course, I want to thank you guys for watching the video, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, episodic or otherwise. Make sure to leave your comments on how you guys feel about Secret Invasion episode one, and I guess Marvel as a whole. Are you close to giving up? Is this show your last opportunity? Have you already waved the white flag? Whatever you're feeling, let me know in the comments below. But again, thank you guys for watching the video. Like and subscribe to the channel. But otherwise, that's all the words I got for you today. Bye.